Aloha and welcome to one of many in a series of installation instructions for Wetakole Hawaii waterproof sports seat covers. This particular segment in our Wetakole Hawaii waterproof sports seat cover videos is about receiving your product. Uh, your product's going to either arrive in your door uh, when you're not there or you'll sign for and receive the box. First thing that you want to do, you want to make sure that your name is correct on the box, on it, on the label. Check it first before you open it. You want to definitely call before you've gone into the bag of seat covers if there's any problems. When you get your box, you're going to look at it. Ah, the name is right. There's also a reference number on it. Okay, right down here in the lower corner, and we'll show you a close-up of that. Uh, now, what you don't want to do when you first get it, you don't want to open it with a razor blade or a knife, a sharp knife, because your seat covers are packed there in a bag, and when I pull them out, I'll show them to you. Um, so maybe a set of car keys like this. So open up your box, and then I'll show you what you're going to be looking for here. Now these seat covers are packed in a box one way, so they don't crease. You'll see they're flat, straight up. They're folded in a way where we fold them right on the seams of the cover so they don't get creased. Neoprene crease is very easy, and what'll happen is, is that that crease won't come out. So the faster you unpack them, the faster you install them, the less chance you have of a crease of that. Now, what you wanna do is you got an invoice right here in our brochure and it's got our contact information along with the, on our invoice. But on this invoice, what you want to look, you want to just check your name, and we'll do a close-up on, on, on your receipt, but one of the main things here is the, the description, the color, logos. A lot of people call us and they ask us about the year because it'll say like, seven dash and when you ordered basically what you had was a 2010 Jeep Wrangler but the invoice says seven and the dash is very faint but we don't put a year end on the invoice until that model has been closed out when you get your invoice a couple main things that you want to look at is one well, the most important thing of course that it's your seat cover and it didn't have a name and a different address and then one of the next things you want to check for is, is the year make and model, okay? Now, if you ordered, for instance, on this particular car, it says 07 dash Jeep Wrangler Unlimited right there. And basically, that covers all years 07 to 09, okay, into 010 uh, on the four doors. So don't just call us that dash means it goes till the end and the body style hasn't changed yet. Okay, everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Our number's at the top. If uh, you need to call us for anything, please call us. Any questions, we love to hear them. We love to talk to our customers. We want to make sure that they're well satisfied in our product. 